What's up, party people? Hey, Skag Man. The surprise man today. Um, I'm sure you guys saw the shorts, and if you didn't, I'm going to put a link down in the description of a little trip that I took to pick up a package, and the package is underneath this sign of freedom and old glory. And Anyway, enough of the suspense. What I have here is a... 7.3 liter gasoline powered Ford Godzilla. And I'm putting it in one of my Lincolns, but you gotta stick with me to the end and I'll tell you which one. All right, so for those of you not familiar with the 7.3 liter Godzilla. It is a heavy duty engine that Ford put in, I think starting in 2019, 2020, into their F-250s, maybe F-350s, but I'm sure about the F-250s and the E-350 vans, um, the Super Duty vans. Um, and the reason why this has become so popular is this, the power that it makes from the factory. Uh, factory rated, and I got to pull out my phone so I don't mess up the numbers here. So it was factory rated from Ford at 430 horsepower. I don't have the torque numbers. Um, but without the, without the parasitic loss, um, and I'm, I'm not going to get too technical, but you know, without the accessory drive, without exhaust, I, the, the, the crankshaft horsepower is right, right at 519 horsepower. Um, and the reason that it was so popular is that it went away from the, the, the new Coyote standard, you know, with the overhead cams. It has a cam in the block, and um, it's a pushrod engine. And I like it because it's old school with the modern twist because it has big displacement for an engine of this size because it's 7.3 liter. And 7.3 liter equals out to 445 cubic inches, which is smaller than a 460, but bigger than a 400. So somewhere right in between, but it's, it's a decent size. I mean, you can put this in a Fox body Mustang if you wanted to. Um, but I'm not stopping there. Um, my plans for it is to do a mile upgrade to it. I want to put a BTR truck Norris cam in it. Um, we're going to change the valve springs and in doing that, uh, with the intake naturally aspirated, no turbo or anything like that. We're probably looking at, um, right at 670 horsepower. I'm sorry. No, 630 horsepower, 446 pound, pound feet of torque. So yeah, it's gonna be really fun. And, um, and, and these play well. I heard a guy's running up 1,000 horsepower on the, on the stock bottom end without changing anything. So, but that's gonna be plenty enough for what I wanna do with it. So that's the plan for this. So, as promised, what's it going in? <laughs> Are you right? I knew you guys knew it. Nah, you're wrong. It's not Claudine. It's not going in there. There she is. Um, let's take a walk. Could it be? What's undercover over there? 
it's a Lincoln. You can tell by the front. Yeah. Nah, it's not going in there either. So, big reveal. Or maybe you already guessed. Hot Rod Lincoln. This is a 1973 coupe. I haven't really introduced it, but I kind of walked you guys through it before. But let's pop the hood. Yep. I'm going to tell you why. Four sixty that needs a major rebuild. It runs but not well. Spewing coolant. But that's the home for the 7.3. Now I'm not ditching that one. I'm gonna rebuild it. I have a rebuild. I'm not rebuilding this 460. I have it rebuilt and then it's going into something else. Along with fuel injection. I think you guys know where I'm going with this. Thank you.